What's up YouTube? Hey, welcome to the channel. Today I have a tutorial for you on real-time landscape architects, terrain features, and elevation specifically for designing your retaining wall features and making sure they look great on your 3D design. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. As always, like, comment, subscribe. This video is a little bit longer, so bear with me. Stay tuned. Let's get into it. All right, starting out with a new blank slate here. I'm gonna go to Tools, House Wizard, and I chose this house here because it has a walkout basement style. All the rest of them seem to be like they're on slabs, most of them anyway. So um, for purposes of this demonstration, I'm gonna use that house, install it into my landscape here. Now it comes with great set already. Um, I'm going to ungroup everything and get rid of all of the terrain features that come with this. So you'll see what we have left is a house with a retaining wall that doesn't make any sense right now and a deck set at the wrong elevation. So. Um, just going into the house here, let me see, the walls are eight feet. You can see that there. So I know I need to have eight feet of elevation drop from the back of the house, or I guess from the front down to the back. Um, you can see the garage is sitting on uh, elevation zero right here. This house the basement is set at the elevation zero and the upper story is set at elevation eight. Um, that's how you add a basement and an upper level. Um, I can get into that in a different video, but so the first thing I'm going to do here to get my elevation set is go into plan view, um, terrain, and then contour line. So if you remember, this here is the back of the house with the deck. So I'm just going to strike a line uh, starting over on the left and to the right and then right click to end the line. Elevation is going to be zero there. And up in front our elevation is obviously going to be eight feet. So let's see what that did. You can see that I have some slope here. Um, but still things aren't right. You can see um, the bottom of the house is still set at grade here according to the elevation slope that I just put in. So it's maybe, I don't know, two or three feet above this line here. Um, well you can see the deck is set at, let's see what the deck is set at, uh, I think it's two feet above, yeah, almost three feet, so we can change that later, but anyway, get back into plan view, so we know we need a wall that comes in here on the left side of the door and then also along this side of the house over here. So the first thing I'm going to do is strike a contour line like this. I'm going to call that two feet. And then I'm going to strike another line like that. Call that four feet. And I'm going to do the same over on this side of the house. My two foot line goes like that. And contour line, my four foot line goes like that. 
and I'm gonna put a I'm just gonna put a 7.5 line there and a seven point a seven foot line there. Actually, I'm going to move this eight foot line. I'm going to make that seven, nine or eight. So let's see what that did. All right, I'm getting there. Got nice grades coming along the house there. Now this line, obviously, the slope from here to here doesn't look right to me. So what I'm going to do is edit that and bring that to the center of the house. Let's see what that did. See that raised up that corner there. I'm going to do the same thing on these two four foot lines as well. Just to bring that grade into the center of the house. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Getting there. But we still need a flat area down, down here where this patio is gonna be. So to do that, go back in the plan view. I'm gonna make a path. Edit the points. So this, basically makes a flat path so this path that I just built was basically zero elevation and you can see it rises from here to here two feet and then another two feet to there and then another three and a half feet from there up to I'm gonna make this seven foot ten All right, let's see what that looks like. So now I have a nice flat area here. Um, my doorway doesn't look quite right, so I'm gonna move this. You can see the closer I put the zero to the two, the steeper the, the bank gets there. So let's go over here. I'm gonna need to put a retaining wall So go to building, retaining wall, go back in the plan view. You got a wall coming off this edge here. And all right, so let's look at what that did. So that's not doing what it's supposed to do. Obviously we need to tell that, that we want to cut the terrain and we want to reverse the cut direction look at that cut a wall right in there um elevation of the wall is zero the height of the wall does not need to be five feet obviously because there's only a two foot grade change there you can see i get down to about two foot six ish i'm going to make this wall three feet at the house and then you can step it down by selecting step there, edit the points. All right, how's that look? Looks like this wall doesn't need to be as long as it is. Basically where the end of the wall points, it's gonna cut the grade see how that works Get about there is where the wall needs to stop then we need a wall 
right up in this area on the other side of that window. So what I'm going to do is basically just copy and paste that wall that I did, edit the points, and I'll bring them around like that. Now, if you look at it, it's still at the same level, um, but obviously the bottom of that wall will be close to the top of this wall. So what we want to do, since the top of the f first wall was about three feet, um, we want to change the elevation of that upper wall to two foot six, right? Because we bury half a block. Um, my second wall is cut in nicely. Grades work out. We've got a flat area behind the wall, nice terrace there. So, that is how you cut in a retaining wall into grade. Hopefully that helps everybody. Um, I know it took me quite a long time to kind of figure all that stuff out, but once you get a little bit of practice, um, you'll you'll figure these things out as far as elevations and everything goes. I'm gonna bring that deck up so it looks right. The deck steps are set to auto auto height, auto calculate height. You can see I added a new step there. So anyway, thanks for watching everybody. Hopefully that helped. Take care.